Hello everyone and welcome to a video here on the second channel where things are far more casual. We are simply here to hang out and have a chat about the latest couple of snapshots. And I didn't make this video last week because of the way Mojang are developing this game, which I think is fantastic. They are doing things one step at a time, steadily rolling out changes, getting feedback from the community as they go. And all of this is a really good thing, but it kind of makes me feel like there's less to talk about because there's more of a wait and see element to all of this. We obviously know that the way things they are right now is not permanent and subject to change. And if you happen to have missed the last couple of snapshots, you should really go over to the main channel and check it out. The world is now 64 blocks taller, it's 64 blocks deeper. We have new ore generation and Grimstone has been introduced. And I have some thoughts and opinions on some of this stuff. But as I said, you know, it's all subject to change. However, partaking in the community discussion around these things is uh, kind of important. So I figured, yeah, there's, there's some things I want to talk about today. But we're actually going to kick it off with some Reddit posts. So over here you can see I'm logged into Reddit. And Miles Nick shared this right here, which was something I was thinking about when I first saw the Grimstone textures added. And this is a really great example of how Mo Mojang are developing the game to reach these color gradients. Obviously here we're talking about grayscale. There's a little example of gray to green. And I hope that in the future of the game's development, they have the full spectrum of colors in mind and slowly start to fill in those spaces with different colors and also textures as well. There's a lot to be said about texture variety. And the more blocks that get added to this game, the more possibilities there are. And so I think when you look at the new textures like this, they look really great. When I first saw them, I kind of thought, eh, it's kind of like a, you know, a step between stone bricks and blackstone, but perhaps that's exactly what you need. I've also just realized stone bricks is not actually included in this grayscale, so there are more gray textures as well, and I'm hoping for other colorful textures to come along. Anyway, this next post right here by Grizella, possibly butchering that name, showing the importance of the changes right here. If we just have uh, open up the image and have a look, you can see if you're visually impaired, it's harder to tell the difference between these ores. And this is just a great example of how having these different textures uh, you know, lets you do that. One thing I will say, the textures, they, they're not actually that great. They just kind of are different. And I don't really feel like they pop out or look terribly unique. So maybe that's something that could be subject to change in the future. Uh, also, NRG mix with this awesome build, a grim portal made of grimstone. Look at the possibilities with these new blocks. The more they add to the game, the more you can unleash your imagination and create wonderful things right and this is uh, a really really cool build now if we pop uh, back into the world I've got some notes here that I'm reading from things that I wanted to talk about I feel like the transition between stone and grimstone in the world isn't very great you can see we're in a cave here that kind of shows you that maybe it would be a good idea to deliberately throw in some more of those gradient materials around this area but then it might not feel natural one of the things I'm not too keen on about Grimstone is that it kind of looks like tiled cobblestone and when it's not lit up it kind of looks great when it's darker but when you can see everything bright and pristine it doesn't particularly feel like a natural cave. So some more cohesion between Grimstone and stone is essentially what I am gunning for here and maybe we'll see some texture changes but these textures are really nice actually and there's been a lot of great feedback from builders about building with Grimstone and we just saw a really great example of that as well. Now another thing I want to point out is ores. You can see they pop out at the moment so there's going to be some grimstone ores coming in and a problem with that is the ongoing problem of Minecraft's inventory space and bundles. I do not believe are a solution to this at all. I think that Mojang need to really do something drastic to change the size of the inventory it could be to make this bigger which doesn't fix the problem long term but something about how you handle items in this game has to change because with this snapshot alone we just got 16 new types of items and when it comes to ores a bunch of these may new ha uh, have some variants as well and if we think back a couple of snapshots ago we got things like the spore blossom the moss all these new plants the amount of items is growing and growing 
and although you don't have to have all these things all the time and you can make an argument about storage systems becoming more complex the reality is that your inventory is more likely to get cluttered and then you spend more time managing your items and uh, yeah it's a bit of a vicious cycle but something needs to be done and every time they add blocks it feels more and more pressing and I don't think that bundles are particularly the solution Anyway, watching the other snapshot videos that uh, other YouTubers post, as I do after, to kind of, um, you know, get a bigger picture of everything that's going on, because some people have different insights. Uh, Il Mango, I believe, was it, that pointed out that this block right here kind of almost looks like it's a face, right? And if we go and look at the other chiseled blocks in this game, well, not all of them, actually, but the chiseled nether brick, the red sandstone chiseled polish and these ones these all represent other minecraft mobs right the wither the creeper in here we got the wither skeleton i believe and then the piglin and so this may be the water mob or something new that comes with the deep dark biome which i think we're going to see well we're obviously going to see in a future snapshot right we're going to see that at some point so uh, let's talk a little bit about ore generation. I've been thinking about it a lot looking at that chart, which I don't actually have to put on the screen right now, but you can, you probably watched my video, you can see it on minecraft.net. I think there needs to be more overlap because at the moment there's like four or five different layers that you would go to to mine different materials and that could actually get a little bit tedious. A lot of traversing upwards and downwards, you'd have to set up more infrastructure for moving up and down in the world, possibly using water columns with uh, salt sand and magma to get like up and down quickly to get to those different areas. And so these are things that should just be considered. How is that going to play out? And although it looks like you might get more materials back for the time you invest mining at a different area, it's yet to be seen. It could end up being that in order to get all your ores, you end up going all over the place in the Minecraft world. That is something that I just wanted to throw out there. Um, next thing on my list to talk about is mob spawning changes. So now when you build mob farms in the world you potentially got to light up larger areas because there is so much going on and I think this is a great opportunity to introduce something I love to see which will allow us to mob proof certain builds which is to give another ability to the uh, the beacon which I, uh, I don't have in my inventory. The beacon block it could perhaps prevent mob spawning in a radius around it which might sound overpowered but you know it can be a fair bit of work to get your hands on a bunch of beacons to make an actual perimeter for having a mob farm and that work might not be too much more than going around and lighting up the caves but as it currently stands look at the shapes of these caves that we've got over here they could end up being a ton of work to make sure every little nook and cranny is lit up and so I think an alternate solution to that part of the game should be investigated at this point. I guess for some closing remarks here, I think the mine shafts look really great down at this level. However, when you look around these big spaces, it does feel a little bit barren. It's just, you know, nothing but the same types of caves, mine shafts, and, you know, a few features like this, but it does feel very repetitive. I think it might be a good idea for Mojang to invest in some perhaps mine shaft variations made with different materials of wood that could perhaps have different layout sizes, different mobs spawning it, and maybe different reasons to visit them. And essentially just take some of the things that are already in the game, spruce them up, give them a bit of variety, and flesh out this bottom area here a bit more. But we are of course going to see three new types of biome. I've got a weird feeling that they might all end up in the lower region. We know the deep dark is probably going to be down here at this grimstone level. There's also the lush caves and the dripstone as well. So they will start to take up parts of the generation but just free alone might not be enough really. I'm not sure. I just can't help but feel of all this space down here that there should be much more going on for the player to do because in essence it's like a lot of mining and traversing but hey maybe that is going to be a good and fun experience and that is pretty much the majority of my thoughts on these last two snapshots so uh, if you like this sort of chatty uh, casual conversation type content then let me know a comment down below and subscribe to this channel if you want to catch more of these sorts of videos so anyway uh, that's it thank you for listening and i'll see you soon Bye bye